Good day, everyone. Father Jim here. Hope you're doing well on this ninth day of October. It is Wednesday. So today we have two optional memorials of two saints, St. Denis, a third century apostle of Gaul, who became the first bishop of Paris. He suffered martyrdom there. And together with his priest, Rusticus, and his deacon, Eleatrius, he is one of the 14 holy helpers. And we also today celebrate St. John Leonardi, who lived from 1543 to 1609. He was a zealous Italian apostle. He founded the Congregation of the Mother of God, whose priest members traveled throughout Tuscany, urging the people to a stronger interest in their religion. Father John Leonardi longed to convert pagans, but his spiritual director, St. Philip Neri, told him to remain in Italy. So instead, he founded a seminary in Rome to train young men for the priesthood from all the mission lands. Also in England and Wales today, we celebrate the Feast of St. John Henry Newman, who was canonized on October 13, 2019. At his beatification, uh, Pope Benedict had noted Newman's emphasis on the vital place of revealed religion in civilized society, but also praised his pastoral zeal for the sick and the poor the bereaved, and those in prison. So, of course, all other locations celebrate this as an optional memorial, especially if you're living in Great Britain. Well, today I'm just going to read from our gospel. It's rather short, but uh, it's familiar. Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. As followers of Jesus, we're called to go out and share the good news with others. One way to do that is to look for opportunities to share and demonstrate what we have learned by reading the word. As is often attributed to St. Francis of Assisi, we are to preach the gospel at all times and, if necessary, use words. How we live our lives speaks volumes to others and, when coupled with the word, conveys a powerful message to the people who cross our paths every single day. The goal is to reflect Jesus to all we meet. One message people need to hear is that God provides what we need each day. He gives us our daily bread. The Our Father prayer Jesus taught his disciples to pray in our gospel today is can benefit from by praying and meditating on each and every word. Saying the prayer slowly, new the past, we have recited the Our Father prayer quickly and without thought. So today let's spend some time in prayer and meditation and really pray the Our Father with a renewed sense of appreciation and wonder at the depth message and wisdom in its simplicity. In a few short words, it speaks volumes about our Father in heaven and how we are called to live as Christians. And so we pray. O God, who sent St. Dennis and his companions to preach your glory to the nations and strengthen them for their mission with the virtue of constancy and suffering, grant we pray that we may imitate them in disdaining prosperity in this world and in being undaunted by any trial. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Amen. Hope your day is going well as we continue to move through this week. Take care and God bless you.